Uh, uh, slow, slow down, man! I'm trying! Still, there's a building up ahead! Welcome to Behind the Scenes. Making a Power Rangers the movie. I'm Jason A. Narvey. I'm Paul Schreier. I play Bulk. Who is this? Bulk. Skull. Let's start over. I think I better start. No, I'll start. First, let's tell you a little bit about what we're doing here. He and I had this great idea. We're thinking, we want to film a behind the scenes video of the movie. And they were like, what? You want to do what? And they said, uh, okay. They give us a camera, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk around the sets, show you some really cool behind the scenes stuff, talk to some of our actor friends, some of the crew. You'll get a really interesting picture of what we do here on Power Rangers 2, the sequel. <laughs> Let, let's tell you the story of the movie. Let's tell them the story of the movie. Let us tell you the story of the movie. The basic plot. Just the plight of the human race, I guess. Shut up. <laughs> so we got a new villain in this movie. Her name is Diva, Diva Tox. I have a date with destiny. Diva Tox is this pirate girl. She's very evil. Who is uh, looking for this little guy. He's a wizard. All right, so this little wizard guy. Named Larigo. And this creature has the key. To a place um, called Maranthius. Diva Tox needs this key to release Malagor, which is an evil guy who lives inside a volcano. If he's released, he will suck the, the earth and the universe of all its goodness. Ooh, thinking about it just gives me goosebumps. She kidnaps Kimberly and Jason. Oh, they well, they capture us and they put us in, the, in this tank, and Bulk and Skull happen to be there, which is very strange. Bulk? Skull? You are speaking to us? We are abducted by aliens, and our hair turns jet white. There's something weird with those two. Oh, you just figured that out. We try to make a deal, and it goes wrong. Rocky hurts himself. Did you just hear all that? You race with the Power Rangers? Next thing I know, I'm the Power Ranger. What are you talking about? Guys, I'm the new Blue Ranger. Isn't that cool or what? What is going on now? Uh, we get thrown into a volcano and we turn evil. They get dumped, dipped, you know, roasted. <laughs> Twisted, you know, red glowing eyes and the works. So now they have Lergo and Kimberly and Jason, and basically we have to get to them before Malagor's released to rule the world. It's basically an ongoing action film of us trying to save our friends. It's got a bit of everything in it, you know? You have to see it. Wow! Demar. We're standing outside the set of Power Rangers 2, the sequel. And there's some cool stuff inside. I was gonna talk first. No, you're not. I was going to. Okay, go ahead. No, I have nothing to say. Anyway, inside there's a really cool set designed by Yuda Ako. This is Yuda Ako. You've like designed everything. It's your job to I make sure. I designed everything, yes. I Even was... to some of the characters too? Some of the characters, most of the characters. Which ones oh, have yeah. you designed? Which new characters have you designed for the Well, Diva Talks, mm -hmm. the ultimate evil woman, Maligor, wow. the, the monster of the lava. 
Uh, Larry Goat, you know, the good guy from yeah. another planet. He's cute, he's great, I love him, you know. Once the characters are designed, full color drawings are made. Then an army of craftsmen and women went to work bringing the characters to life. The heads of characters like Malagor here are a complicated combination of wires, motors, cables, and are operated by puppeteers like these guys from Kyoto Brothers. They use joysticks and levers to control the facial expressions so they'll seem natural, or in this case, scary. The rest of the character is first sculpted and then built full size out of various materials. The monster makers spend days assembling, gluing, and painting the costume, then adding the special little touches like a reflective material which makes Malagor seem like he's glowing. The effect is pretty awesome. He's gonna be the Megazord, cockpit Megazord. Started from that piece of paper, and it's gonna end as a Megazord. Megazord Megazord. What's your favorite color, Vida? Favorite color? People say purple, but I think turquoise. But I really like yellow. But I'm using a lot of red. We divided the color between the bad, the good. Oh, wow. Bad got great colors, you know, unfortunately. <laughs> Turbo! So we're here with Austin St. John's chair. I think movie stars are the role models of today, the superheroes of tomorrow. Now, before we begin, I just want to let you know that this chair has seen much excitement and much action. In fact, this is Austin St. John's stunt chair. He has a normal chair for everyday business, but for instance, this chair is collapsible. It's malleable. It's tough. It's American-made. What's Austin really like? Harvey, you're talking to a chair, man. No, 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 the chair is talking to me. The chair is talking to the people. Now, I want to know. Now, are, are you just wood? Are you framed? Do you have a heart inside? You? Don't take it from me, man. Don't take that stuff from me. You're a person. You got feelings too, man! Yeah. Superhero indeed. Now the truth comes out. If my dad only knew, man, he'd be so proud of me. And all the other kids at the shelter. Justin, I can't. know, I know. It's for me to know and them to find out. Ranger's Code of Honor. I won't tell anybody. One of the biggest surprises of the film is the introduction of Justin, the new Blue Ranger and the youngest Power Ranger ever. He's played by newcomer Blake Foster, and we decided to ask him a few questions like, Okay, Blake, tell us about your character. I'm the youngest Power Ranger ever, yes. Yeah, I've grown up watching the series. I've seen every episode. What's exciting is I get to meet Jason Frank and all the other Power Rangers. They've helped me with stunts. They've improved my karate skills. I have a Turbo Mountain Blaster. It's blue. This is awesome! Mountain Blaster here! I'm ready too! What do you think about the directors? David's real fun. I think he's got cool hair. I think Shuki's got cool hair too. How did you get the part? Well, first of all, I was doing another movie. And my director came up and said, hey, how would you like to be the new Blue Ranger? I said, that would be great. That would be real fun. Next thing I know, I'm on the movie set. Don't touch that dial, because we'll be right back with more Power Rangers behind the scenes. What he said. Hey, we'd like to say welcome back to more behind the scenes footage. Well, then say it. Welcome back to more behind the scenes footage. He loves saying it. Say it again. Welcome back to more behind the scenes footage. We're here with Katherine Jane Sutherland, who plays the Pink Ranger on Power Rangers, the series, as well as in Power Rangers 2, the feature. And so, we're here to talk about her. So you're from Australia? Yeah. People ever give you a hard time about your accent? Yeah. Like, what do like they say? You. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Not me. What are they, is there any common jokes? Do you have any, uh, koala, do they tell koala jokes or like eucalyptus tree jokes or? They always ask me if I have kangaroo. <laughs> do you have a stock answer for that question? 
No. <laughs> <laughs> that Still throws you off guard even today? Yeah. So is it true that you guys like separate in the movie and have like little mini adventures? Yes. Um, Tommy and I actually go off to Africa looking for Larigo, this little alien creature. You okay? Yeah, it's just hot out of here. We still have a lot of jungle to cover. Oh man, this heat's intense. Don't move. On the count of three, dive to your left. Now, I heard a rumor that Kimberly's in the feature. Yes. What does Kimberly think about this whole Tommy and oh, well, cat thing? I don't, she doesn't know about it yet until the end of the movie. <laughs> I come home and Pink Ranger stole my boyfriend. <laughs> and sweetie, Pink is out. <laughs> is that an empath? Empathetic. Empathetic. Yes. Empath empathic? Yeah, that's it. What did I say? Empathetic. Empathetic. I don't know. Empathic. Thesaurus? <laughs> Please! <laughs> so one more question. Yes? Um, are you really a kung fu artist? Well, I have to be honest, I'm not. I learned when I got here. But how do you, how do you like, do that if you don't know kung fu or martial arts? It's part of our morphonomal powers. Well, morphon... Morphonomal. Thesaurus? <laughs> Shut up. You got a kangaroo? <laughs> <laughs> Good on you, lad. Uh. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Catherine. Say bye. Bye. Au revoir. What do you think of Austin's chair? I can't really talk about that right now. Why not? It's a sensitive issue. Well, I'm not showing the strength to anybody. I like his chair a lot. Yeah? Right. Hey, will you marry me? What am I supposed to tell these people? Um, I'll think about it. <laughs> if I stole Austin's chair? Yes, definitely. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Oh! Austin, Jason. Austin St. John. Hey, Austin, what's happening, dude? How what? Much? Hey, come on out here. We got a, a couple things we asked. You got, a, you got a minute? No. Well, come on out here anyway. We, we'll, okay. we'll, we'll just do it real quick. Just a couple minutes of your time, man. Hey, what's it like to be back, man? Um... It's pretty crazy, actually. Yeah? I'm enjoying the film quite a bit. I get to play this demon-like uh, sort of guy. Uh -huh. Stop! Dude, so you used to be the Red Ranger, right? Yeah. But yeah, it used to be the Red Ranger. But now, and now you're the. No, well, I'm still not a ranger. Wait a minute. I thought you were. I was the Red Ranger, and then I was the Black and Gold Ranger, and now I'm not a ranger. So, dude, what's the what's the best mm. part of the movie that you're shooting right now? What's the what's I your get favorite? to play the bad guy. Really? I get uh, I get these red glowing contacts. Will you do one thing for me? Will you say no Tyrannosaurus for us? Come on, dude. It's, ready? It's Warfin time. Tyrannosaurus. Yeah, dude, you are so cool. <laughs> It takes hundreds of people to make a movie. Camera people, lighting people, all kinds of people. And the person responsible for all those people is the production manager. So you're the unit production manager on Power Rangers 2, the sequel? Yes. What exactly is a unit production manager do? What do you manage? I manage the whole production. People, personnel, equipment, trucks, wardrobe, everything. Everything is right. Just to shoot this scene took two days, close to 100 people, and several thousand feet of film. You got your camera department. They photograph everything. Then you've got the puppeteers who run the various characters. The art department takes care of the look of the film. Then there's the monster guys. Their job is to keep all the monsters nice and gooey. And let's not forget the makeup department. Makeup key. Cynthia Laws. In this movie, there's a bunch of like native um, folks running Malachias. around. Yeah, the Malakias. I saw a bunch of lines on their bodies. How did you apply those? We used stamps, rubber stamps. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. There's a script supervisor. She makes sure the script is uh, 
supervise. The sound guys make sure you can hear. The lighting guys make sure you can see. And these other guys, well, they do all sorts of other stuff that uh, needs to be done. But the guy on the set who calls all the shots is the director. All right, we are here with the director of the movie, David Wynn. He's a big boss man, visionary, the visionary, yeah, the uh, Picasso of this whole That's good, yes. So what's it like directing Power Rangers? Oh, it's fun, I'm having a lot of fun. Yeah? Yeah, it's a good show, and uh, we're having a good time. What to you is the most rewarding part about directing Power Rangers? Uh, well, it's, it's turning out to be a kind of movie that I would have liked to have seen when I was a kid. Yeah. Wow, this is fun! Getting to play with all these toys and all these monsters, and, Silly people like yourself, you know? Yeah, thanks. Now, let me ask, okay, now every movie, there, there's a scene or a part where a director, they, they'll direct and they say, you know, this one's for the real. It's like just a sweet little nugget of film. What would that one be from Power Rangers? Probably the underwater stuff with you. <laughs> oh, Dave, you're stroking my ego, <laughs> you know man. Give me the money now. Yeah, no problem. Uh, how, much, how much did you say ten, that was? Ten bucks. I got a box. Ooh. Appreciate that. I really appreciate it. What do you think of, uh, Awesome St. John's chair. You weren't going to ask me about that. Well, I don't know, it's just kind of common to me. I, you know, well, uh, I'm sorry, is that, is that off limits? This chair is great. The reason they hired Awesome is because that chair, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's not funny. Sit into turbo! Jason Frank. Yes, sir. Dude, we've been on Power Rangers for a long time together. Yep, sure have. Jason Harvey, you and me are the longest cast members ever on the show. Yep. Dude, you've been doing the show for like four years now. Yep. One movie in the can, another one on the way. Yep. What do you think about the whole experience? Uh, All right, I put it away. What else do I have to do? Um, That's fine, just as long as it's clean over here. OK. You thanks. know what, take that. And uh, there should be a broom back there. All right, thanks. OK, yeah, good job. Um, <clears throat> You're welcome. It's been, uh, it's been fun. But this movie's definitely different than the first one. What? Um, How so? A lot of action. Let's go! All right. We have a lot of rapid stuff. We have um, a lot of cool stuff in this movie. Um, more than just martial arts and stuff, you know? So do you still practice your martial arts every day? Yeah, I do. I do. I think that's what gives me so much energy, you know? So. <laughs> Please. Can I ask you something? <laughs> yeah. What do you think about Austin's chair? That I really don't want to talk about. I don't want to talk about it. No, no, seriously. No, I seriously don't what want to talk about it. What do you think about Austin's chair? I don't want to talk about it. It's a nice chair. So you seen it? So we heard that you don't have a chair, but Austin does. I really don't want to talk about it. Personally, I, I just really would not like to talk about it. But it's a nice chair, though, isn't it? No, it's not a nice chair, and I don't want to talk about well, it. What's wrong with it? It's not yours. <laughs> it's a dumb-looking... No, it's not. I just don't like the chair. Thank you, Jason David Thank Frank. You. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to talk to you, man. <laughs> nice to talk to you, too. Beat a kid. Next. All righty, then. Hi. We'll be right back with more exciting behind the scenes footage from Power Rangers 2, the movie. That's a great shot. That one's going on my reel. He, he doesn't have a reel. Hey, welcome back to more behind the scenes on Power Rangers 2. Here we are on the set of Power Rangers. They're at lunch, and we have the run of the set. Let's run. So let's take a little behind the scenes peek. Come this, on. This is a giant gong. Now, I know you're supposed to gong this, but. No, I think it's actually a drum. I think we're actually going to break it. So let's walk away before we do, shall we? Now you'll notice on the ground is a bunch of dirt. Kitty litter, actually. Uh, kitty litter, OK. Right. That's we'll special just... effects for you. Over here in this area, there are some cages that apparently hold some of these small alien creatures in the film. As you can see, Skull is doing a stress test on the cage to attempt to see if he can break it. What do you think? No. Can't break it. Darn. Actually, these things are secured into the ground. Yeah, that looks like a cool little prop that thing there. That thing ain't going anywhere. Yeah, it is. Get that prop. Hey, why don't you put that on for a second? Okay. You won't get in trouble. Really? OK. Oh. It's backwards. Oh, that was the other way. No, no, the other way. There you go. That's it, dude. See? You are so cool. Am I? I don't know what the heck you are, but I'm cool. That's what I am. OK, moving on. And over here in this area, careful, buddy, there's a very special lava pit. Take a look. The lava pit contains a fire apparatus. 
natural gas fed, controlled by a central processing unit called a knob. Take a look, pretty cool in there. Down around your feet here are the electronic units that control some of the animatronic stuff. As you can see, these guys are, are, uh, are labeled for Yara is the character and this is the eye control. <laughs> and each one is labeled according to uh, lips and whatever else they need to control. And if you'll notice, way over there on the other side of the room is actually the uh, units that they control, their heads. Now I want you to know these things are not real. This hair is obviously fake. Really? Colored in. That's no. not their natural color. No. Yeah, Look these... at that hairline. It's beautiful. Yeah, well, you know, that's what happens. But the hair is fake. The rest is real. Very cool. On the other side of this big construction equipment is the special coil that lowers people down into the lava pit. This is way cool. You turn this thing, and then the rope uncoils from the apparatus and zooms up, apparently, to the ceiling, to a pulley, which, which we can lower the actor or actress yeah. into the lava pit. Wow, did you see this cool head up here? This is so cool. It's a huge snake head. What's under here, buddy? Lava, I think. Let's check it out. Cool. Oh. Well, uh, that's our set. We had some fun walking around the set behind the scenes on Power Rangers 2. I had lots of free coffee. But now we gotta go, so thanks a lot. See you next movie. Where's my chair? Oh, I don't know, man, it's gone. Where is my chair? You know what, I think about it's over in Paul's truck. I think I'm gonna go get it right now. I'll, I'll be right back, okay, man?